welcome to the celebration of the 2020 BC Community Awardees. And I'm speaking today from the unceded and ancestral territories of the Musqueam, Squamish and tsleil peoples. Along with my fellow board colleagues at BC Achievement, we congratulate this year's awardees for your remarkable commitment to community and to building a better BC. Joining me to salute the awardees is Her Honour, the Honourable Janet Austin, the Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia. It is my absolute pleasure, and I couldn't agree more about the awardees' remarkable achievements. Each of these 25 outstanding individuals is emblematic of what is great about our province and how important, now more than ever, is the mission of BC Achievement to honour excellence and inspire change. As we begin these awardee reflections, we hope that their accomplishments inspire others to build stronger and more engaged communities. Each year, BC Achievement is privileged to showcase these awardees at a ceremony at Government House. COVID-19 has changed our ways of celebrating and compelled us to look at other unique and powerful ways of showcasing excellence. It's not changed our goal to honour these individuals and to inspire others. I'm truly delighted to be part of this film, recognizing the 2020 awardees, whose individual records of service, taken together, describe the very best of our home here in British Columbia. Now we're about to meet one of the 2020 awardees, Dom Bautista. Dom is recognized for devoting his time and expertise to help individuals obtain access to the justice system. The BC Achievement Board is proud to present Dom with the 2020 Mitchell Award of Distinction. Congratulations, Dom. And Dom will now share his thoughts on behalf of all the 2020 recipients. Thank you for including me and my 24 new friends in this year's Community Award. Thank you for providing us the space to articulate and celebrate what matters to us. It is quite humbling, of course, to be recognized. And so, in accepting the Mitchell Award, I do so on behalf of all the British Columbians, especially the underprivileged, the underserved, and the underrepresented in our legal system. A warm hello to my fellow awardees and new friends who hail from 70 Mile House, Cache Creek, Coldstream, Cranbrook, Fort St. John, Kelowna, the Lower Mainland, Port Alberni, Prince George, Souk, Terrace, Victoria, and Wells. I hope to meet all 24 of you in person one day and would love to learn more about the work that you do to make British Columbia a better place. My wife Mercedes knows how much I avoid traveling, but visiting each of you for a cup of tea may be the first road trip that we will be taking when this pandemic is over.
On behalf of the awardees, I hope we each find inspiration in the work that we can do to make British Columbia a better place for future generations. Giving back, no matter how big or how small, will and can make a profound difference to someone. Congratulations to all the 2020 awardees and thank you for allowing us to tell your story and to inspire others and to follow your lead. Each of you is now an ambassador for the strength of BC's communities and a strong alumnus of this important program.